It's a leg day! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that didn't go around wrong, down the wrong way at all. <sighs> okay. Anybody else do that? Oh. oh my god. It's like some major vlogception. <laughs> Hey look, there's, there's me on graduation day. Okay, straight quad. So the plan of the minute, everybody, is two leg days a week, right? I've pretty much done that for the past like two years anyway. But plan of the minute is two days a week training legs. One of them is again more strength focused, and this is the more kind of hypertrophy focused. So higher reps, lower weight, single leg exercises, you know. Focus on that symmetry and all of that. Whew. Whoa. And it takes it out of you. I, right, I love training legs. Absolutely love training legs. But I'm knackered today. Absolutely knackered. If you saw my Instagram stories, I was meant to train like three, four hours ago, kind of time my food around it and everything like that. It just didn't work out. I've had a very busy day, right? Sometimes that's just how it is. So it's gonna take me a while to kind of get into it. But I'm feeling good, sweating already. Man, it's hot in here. One thing I always do when I'm doing leg pressing here as well is superset it with calves on the basis. Why am I holding it so close? I superset it with calves on the basis that I do them on the leg press, and so I'm doing it at the same time. This little bar here, I put my feet on here for the leg press and my calves on here for the calf extensions, right? But if I did them later on, I'd have to deload the, the leg press and then reload it, and then you, you know, it just makes no sense. So I just do them at the same time. I mean, Make sure that I don't skip them as well, and I got a compliment at work about my calves today, so you know, must be working. <laughs> that is not what I need right now. Freaking ice cream man turning up mid workout. I'm trying to lose weight here. I'm trying to lose weight. I keep going through the pros and cons of home gyms. That's one of the cons. Like the temptations, something simple like the ice cream man driving by. Like, come on, man. I'm trying. <laughs> oh. 
I mean, number one, I keep talking about my Instagram story. I put this on my Instagram story. You feel absolutely dead, but you feel real, real good at the same time. Endorphins and all that. But the next thing, do you ever get the best upper body pumps on leg day? Simple, stupid things like holding the bar when you're doing Romanian deadlifts and like, I don't know, just some of the best upper body pumps come, for, for me anyway, on days like this that, that I'm actually training legs. It's, it's weird. It's weird. I mean, sometimes I wear a hoodie, but like, you know, the, the forearm, the forearms, the biceps, they're coming through. How bizarre! How bizarre! I'm not complaining though. I'm not complaining. What I am complaining about is being absolutely done in. I've already eaten like two meals. I'm halfway through, and I, I, all of a sudden I'm like, yeah, yeah, man, I'm hungry. I'm real, real hungry. So I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna do 45 minutes of cardio as well. So I've got a way to go until I can have some grub yet. But we're gonna earn it tonight. I don't know what is for dinner, actually. I don't think I've got anything out of the freezer. Muscle food, chicken, more often than not. Or steak, muscle food, steak. Or one of those pots that they have. They're sick, by the way. Sick. God, I chat so, so much when I'm training legs. <laughs> Just ramble because I'm absolutely gas. Okay, 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 that will do for one day. That will do. Now I'm gonna follow this up. We're just 30 minutes on here on the basis that it's been leg day, it's a bike, it's gonna be very, very difficult. And I've done cardio the last two days in a row. Um, I'm kind of just doing it just because I want to do it really. I'm, I'm feeling good, I, feel, I still feel energized, but I've done enough legs, you know? So I, I'm gonna go on here, may as well burn a few cows um, while I'm feeling good, get ahead, you know? So just a half hour on there, and then it'll actually be time to upload the video that you saw last time. In fact, I need to start now. I can taste my own sweat. 704 calories. 66 minutes and 39 seconds and 30.91 kilometers. I just felt good. I just felt steady. I felt solid. I felt capable, shall we say, of carrying on. So I did. <laughs> to be honest, I kind of used that time to, oh, I sweat in my eye, oh my God. I kind of, kind of used that time to, Clear my head a bit, watch some YouTube, did a lot of productive social media stuff as well. And I feel great. I'm absolutely done in, but I feel amazing. Um, and that's what exercise can do. That's what the gym can do to you. You can absolutely annihilate yourself. Just, you know, push past the boundary of what you thought you could do. I kind of usually get to 30 and I'm like, oh my God, sod this. Got to 30, felt great. Got to 40, felt great. 45, felt great. I was like, sod it, I'm gonna go to 60. When I got to 60, I was close to 700 calories. So I was like, well, I may as well do 700 calories now. So I just, just um, kept on going. But I mean, obviously take the, you know, the calories and all that kind of stuff with a pinch of salt, but it's not gonna be dead accurate. You know, there's no hills or, 
or anything like that, but doesn't know what your heart rate is, but I'm keeping that consistent, so, you know. It's mad what, what the gym and just exercise in general can, can do to you, can make you feel so freaking good, like, about life, about yourself, make you feel confident, make you feel good, strong, helping me get leaner too. Damn some food. Yas. If something's like pissed you off, don't let it get you down. It, you know, go out there and, and, and do some 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 exercise. Like do some cardio, go lift some weights, go for a walk, go and do something, find something that um makes you feel better. And to be honest, I didn't do that with the intention of it making me feel better. And that says it all, really. I didn't go, oh, for God's sake, I need to go and do, like, an hour's worth of cardio because I feel like crap. Like, I just went and did it, and then I felt great, kind of, afterwards. It can be difficult to find that thing, to be honest, and more often than not, for me, it is, that thing is, um, you know, lifting weights, shifting it about, seeing progress with that. But sometimes it can be something as simple as going on the spin bike and just feeling good and keeping on going. Keeping on going. Na, na, na. Sorry, it's early. I'm going to go away myself. a bit surprised with that like I've been sitting around kind of 174 175 um, and I've really kind of cleaned up what I've been eating in the last few days uh, and on cardio and training has been on point and 175 I mean that's okay but I was like 172.4 or something on the day of body power so we got some making up to do so how are we going to do that well let me tell you people, let me enlighten you with my plan. So today's date is Sunday the 9th of June. I'm filming this on the day that's going to go live. And we are 175 pounds, right? We'll go with that previous weigh-in um, for the kind of the baseline for the, the, the kickstart of, of the, the diet in again, right? Because I've said, I, I've said I'm gonna do it and I've said I'm gonna get a little bit leaner but I'm just not committed to it, right? And so, this is it, this is me committing to the diet, this is my, my, my plan to lose the next 10 pounds, right? I've kind of just given it away there and it'll probably be in the title anyway, but so it's all good. But today is the 9th of June. So, seven weeks time from now would be the 17th, 24th, 1st, it would be the 29th of July. So by the end of July, you know, kind of supposedly the height of summer, sort of, it's kind of pretty much gone, but by that point in time, I would like to be 165 pounds. So rather than being 175, we will turn that seven into a six, and hopefully, I'm hoping that I'll look all right when I get to 165 right now, to be honest, because I just hope I, just hope I will. I think it's a, a good weight for me to be at for a starting position, but hey, we might need to go a little bit further. I don't particularly want to, but we shall see. So the plan is, for the next seven weeks to lose one and a half pounds per week. That would be just over 10 pounds lost and you know, 165 pounds there or thereabouts. Um, and that is kind of the goal. But the problem I have is that I'm not, I, do, I don't have a date, I'm not competing, I don't have a, a specific, you know, I don't have something to do it for. I'm kind of just doing it just cause sort of thing. Does that make sense? And so that's where the willpower and the motivation will be the difficult part for me because, you know, I, I like my pizzas, I like my KFCs, you know, I, I like crap food just like most people. And so the fact that I don't have the, 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 the motivation for a competition or something like that um, is the most difficult part for me. I will have that one day, but just not right now, you know. So training will be five times a week. The brand new split 
I'll be showing you guys. In fact, would you guys like to see a kind of mini little series of those workouts, kind of explaining them on and stuff like that? I don't know. I kind of just thought of that on the spot. Let me know. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section. Um, so yeah, five times a week. Cardio will be minimum three times a week. Um, just kind of keeping it ticking over. Um, I'll decide on the calories and everything like that. I, I literally, right, I decided on this plan on the drive over to Charlotte's house right now. So. I'm kind of just doing a spare at the moment, but there will be more information over the next few videos, over the next few days, over my Instagram story and stuff like that, so stay tuned on that. Um, diet will be on point, training will be on point. I'm in a good position in terms of, um, well, life, if you like, to be able to commit to, to training. Um, and so, I don't really have any excuses, you know? I don't have an excuse to not hit this goal. Um, other than I couldn't be asked, so we shall see. The willpower will be tested, people. It will be tested. I was going to say something else as well. Training, diet. Oh my god, what else? No, no, that's it. Yeah, that. Oh, the tees, the t-shirts. Right. Okay, so. You have, as of today, two more days, and that will tick over to one day in like a couple of hours time. So you pretty much have 24 hours. This is your final day to get hold of a together we will grow tea. If you don't pick one up in that 24 hour period, they're gone. That's it, boom, they're done. The t-shirts haven't been made and I'm not shipping them out. There's a company that is kind of doing or handling the pre-order process and then making them to order and shipping them out. It will come in a little bag with their, lo their little logo on it on there as well. So um, thank you to everyone that already has picked one up. And if you haven't, the link will be in the description box. Please go and pick one up and um, show some support, show some love. Thank you so much. Together we will grow. Thank you for watching. No, there's nothing else I need to say. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, drop the video a thumbs up if you haven't already. If you did enjoy it, please comment down below. Share with a friend if you think that this might help them out, you know? Or you think that they might, they might like me. That'd be cool. Thanks for watching, guys. One more time, drop a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you are new. Welcome to the family. Together, we will grow, and I will see you in the next one. Go pick up a tea.